hi I'm Sarah and welcome back to my channel. So today I am sharing with you our cloakroom renovation. So this is our downstairs toilet and we started this project at the start of the year back in May and I started recording bits for this video back then but um, there has been a few little snagging issues which we have only just got fixed. The light, I was waiting for a really long time to try and find one that I liked and then I couldn't and in the end I ended up switching one that was in the playroom into the cloakroom um, and moving our other lights around because I found different lights that were better suited for that room. Anyway, I digress. So it's taken us a really long time to get those little finishing touches done but I have finally touched up all the paintwork and it is now finished. So I am going to share with you how our cloakroom is looking now. This cloakroom was done on a really tight budget. The whole cloakroom was redone for under £350 and that includes a brand new suite. So a brand new toilet and a brand new sink as well as the labour charges to fit it. So we did really well. So anyway, without further ado, I am going to let you get stuck into the video and see how our cloakroom has been transformed. And here is the little sink area. It's really hard to film because it's so small and pokey, but this is pretty much it. So here is what the cloakroom is looking like now. All the holes have been filled, the toilet and sink have been removed, and it's now ready for cleaning and painting. Grandma is hard at work. So my mum is just finished and here is what the wallpapered column looks like. I'm so pleased with it. I think the tiles look so good. It's just wallpaper. It's like 10.99 a roll. How much easier is that? So pleased with it. I'm going to make a little splash back out of this stuff as well. So once the sink is fitted, we can put a little tiled area behind it. So now all the decorating is done. We are just waiting for the plumber to come back and fit the sink and the toilet. And here it is, the finished cloak cream. So I'm very excited to be able to share this with you. It's a very small space. So you can see this is the door here and this is the cloak cream. So yeah, it's very small, but perfectly formed. It's got everything we need. So I'm just going to go through one by one and talk you through where I got each item. So we have a towel rail here. This was from Amazon. It's just a plain black towel rail. The leaf print towel was from H&M. The take care of yourself print is from where the wild girls are and I really love it. I think it really finishes off the space and yeah, it's just such a beautiful print. I love it. The muted colours are so nice. Moving round to this mirror, which was from H&M. I think it was about £25. But again, it was something I needed something, a nice mirror to go above the little sink because there's not much going on in here. Um, so I chose this one. Then we have our little tiled splashback, which is actually wallpaper. And I bought a Perspex bit of plastic to go on top to protect that so that the wallpaper wouldn't get damaged got my Aesop hand wash and the sink. So this sink comes with a cupboard because I wanted some storage in here to put toilet rolls and bleach and things like that. So that is all in the cupboard. And this along with the toilet, um, both were new. So we fitted new toilet and sink when we did the renovation. And they were both from Bathroom Superstore. They were 200 pound for both of them. I would definitely go and check them out if you're on the hunt for a cloakroom suite because they have some really reasonably priced items on their website and they do offer sales where they do discounted items. I also have a little black toilet brush from Ikea down there. And then the next feature is this beautiful tiled pillar. So really annoyingly we had a soil pipe going down um, which was boxed in and this is coming from our ensuite which is above this room. 
it was just really annoying it blocks out the light from the window and it's just really awkward really so I wanted to try and make a feature of it to try and make it look a bit better so I got my mum to wallpaper it and I really love how the tiles look I think they look really nice I, don't need to go in there. I love how the tiles look and I think it just sort of transforms the space and makes this annoying pillar more of a feature the light fitting up here was from Aldi. It was actually, it used to be in the playroom, but I moved it into here because I thought it would go better. Over here we have my shelf unit. This was from Primark and it's actually upside down. So the shelves came the other way around. You can see the little holes at the bottom. That's supposed to go on the wall and then the shelves are meant to be on this side. Um, but because I knew I wanted it on the windowsill, I took all of the, I unscrewed all of the little wooden shelves and stuck them on the other way and then screwed them back on and I really love how this feature looks and um, we didn't really need a blind in here because the glass is frosted anyway but I did want something to fill that space so it wasn't really open and I love the way this little plant shelf looked I've got some succulents that I bought from Amazon this plant I had already this pot I had already it was from H&M and I just popped one of those plants in which I bought from a plant sale that was local to us. Got to say the little pineapple on top is actually a candle um, and that was from H&M as well. But yeah I'm really pleased with how that's come together and I think it looks really nice and brings some much needed green into this very white room. Moving down we have the toilet again this was from bathroom superstore I also have a little basket next to the toilet just with spare wipes and toilet roll in and the basket was from Primark and I think that's everything so I don't think there is going to be any way for me to get the whole thing into one shop I will try my best. So I hope you enjoyed having a look around our cloakroom. I thought I would just tell you prices of a few of the things because when I did the tour around the room and I mentioned where all the items were from, I can't remember if I mentioned prices. So I'm going to give you the prices that I have because I've now found my list. So our labour came to £70. Our cloakroom suite, so the toilet and the sink and tap and a little cupboard were from bathroom superstore and they were in a deal together and they cost 200 pound the wallpaper that i used to wallpaper the pillar and the splashback was from ebay and it was 10.99 for one roll and we still have loads left so i'm thinking of wallpapering our utility room as well the mirror was 20 pound from h&m the plastic sheet that I used to cover the splashback behind our sink was £25 and that was from eBay and I also bought the screws from there. They were like little silver plastic mirror screws um, and I think they were a couple of pounds from eBay. And that is all the prices for everything pretty much. So I hope you've enjoyed having a look around our cloakroom and seeing how we transformed it. It's been a long process but I'm so glad it's finally finished. It's dragged on for quite a while. The bulk of it was done quite quickly but the little finishing touches have taken a long time to finally happen. So I'm really pleased that it's now completely finished off and I think it's pretty perfect. So let me know in the comments below what you think and whether you think we did really well getting all that done on such a tight budget. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!